Hello and welcome to your January Instructional Coach newsletter video. Um, several things that I would like to share with you, the districts that I am working with. Um, given all of the numbers and COVID cases and things like that, and the fact that um, contact tracing is sometimes next to impossible when it comes to me, I have three districts, seven buildings. Um, I'm going to try not to like push into classrooms unless um, you ask me specifically uh, to come into your room. I'm not against coming into your classroom. If you need me, if you want me to stop by, please, please, please ask and I will absolutely do so. Um, but um, when that's not the case, I will be positioning myself in kind of a central location so that you can come by, ask me your questions, we can talk. It can be more just kind of like, on demand, spur of the moment, whatever is needed. Um, I know that right now with teachers, some of us are in survival mode. Some of us don't have the time to plan and schedule ahead and have a conversation. Sometimes it's like, I'm walking in to make copies. Oh, you're sitting there. I have this thing I wanted to ask you about. Perfect. That's how I can help. Then, then so be it. You are not bothering me. Please stop by and ask me questions, no matter how small or how big, doesn't matter. Um, I can always take a note find out and follow up on it for you. So let me uh, hopefully take some of that burden off of uh, things that you wanted to explore or do, or I don't know, chat. <laughs> um, some cool things coming up in the districts that I work with, uh, South Holland later this week, we have an Institute day that's just all tech all day. That will be really fun because um, I get to present a couple of uh, sessions, um, one on using the 3D printer. So I'm pretty psyched about that. It's kind of a kind of a first for me, but I've done a lot of pre-work self, you know, taught going through it, trial and error. And uh, I'd love to share with you uh, what I've come up with. Um, I've also managed to wrangle my husband, wrangle uh, Mr. Levin into coming and talking with you all. He is a Canvas veteran user. He has used it for years. And given that South Holland is a Canvas district, um, I think hopefully he has tips and tricks, uh, templates and things that he can share with you that you will find useful. Um, so yay. Hopefully good news on that front. Um, also, Eric Santos, who I work with at the LTC, at the Learning Technology Center, he is coming to present as well. So it's cool to get to meet another one of my coworkers. Um, in Sandridge, we have an uh, Institute Day coming up at the very, very beginning of February uh, that got pushed back from January, where we have someone coming in from outside to talk with us about, I've got some notes here, um, IPI, which is Instructional Practices Inventory. It is basically a strategy for measuring student engagement. Um, and from what Dr. Sutton's told me, it's supposed to be pretty darn cool and we all get to learn a lot. Um, I, I like to learn, so I'm pretty excited about this and see what's going on. Um, in other news, uh, some of you know my son, tested positive for COVID several weeks ago, um, and you've asked about him, thank you so much. He is doing okay. We are all doing okay. Um, does it stink? Yes, not not what we would have wanted, but given all of that, we're doing okay. Um, then coming up in February, we have IdeaCon, which if you're not familiar with IdeaCon, IDEA stands for Illinois Digital Educators Alliance, is the professional organization for educational technology. And what's cool about that is that you don't need to be specifically a STEM teacher or a computer teacher to join. Everyone is welcome because we all use educational technology. So their yearly conference is coming up um, and I will not be in your buildings that week because I will be at the convention all week. I have three different presentations uh, at the conference and that's pretty exciting. Plus I get to learn a whole lot as well. So if you haven't checked out um, Idea the Organization or IdeaCon before, highly recommend it. I will put the information to check out their website and uh, you can do that. Outside of that, hang in there. We're, we're doing the best we can with what we have. Um, it is okay to not always be at 100%. You are doing a good job. Know that you're doing a good job, even if it feels like sometimes you're not doing as good as you could. Um, you are trying your best, and that is what's important. Uh, please ask me anything. I'm here to help you, and we will talk soon. Bye.